being so blurry. Good morning, Outfolded family, and welcome to a day in the life vlog, I guess. I've kind of decided to do something different today since it is Monday and it is usually my day off in the studio, so I thought I would bring you along on what I get done on a Monday. Um, today we're going to get a little bit of housework done. Right now I'm showing you just a little bit of my morning routine. I try really hard to take all of my powdered supplements before I have coffee in the morning, and it's easier for me to take my greens if I mix them with everything else because I don't like the taste of the greens that I take. But this might not be how some people do it, but it's how I've chosen to do it, and it's been working for me, so please keep your criticism to yourself. But we're gonna move into today and get some work done in the living room, the bedroom, and the kitchen. I've got a little bit of laundry to get done, tons of dusting because it's been a while, like a, a long while since I've dusted my house. And I'm just ready to have everything nice and fresh. I've got the windows open. Um, I was going to do this ASMR style so that you guys could just kind of have cozy cleaning vibes with me, but there is a structure fire down the road from me. <laughs> so there is ambulances and fire trucks and just a whole lot of chaos going past my house right now. So my dog is barking like crazy and then sirens are going like mad. So I am just gonna have to take the sound off of this for a while, I believe, but come along with me and let's get some housework done. With so much noise going on in the neighborhood, I decided to go ahead and put my headphones on and listen to the Tower of Dawn book. This is the, I believe, seventh book in the Throne of Glass series. I have been reading this series for about a month and a half now. And let me tell you, if you have not read the Throne of Glass series, you really, really should. It has been amazing so far. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the story comes together in the final book. Um, no spoilers if you've read it already, and if you haven't, I hope you give it a chance. Um, I read Akatar at the beginning of the year and absolutely fell in love with fantasy after I read the Akatar series. I never thought of myself as a fantasy reader until until after I read Akatar, and now I'm just I'm hooked. I'm completely addicted, and I have put off reading Throne of Glass because I didn't think anything could match up to Akatar. But let me tell you. It's pretty good. I don't know that I would rate it above the Akatar because I am a romance girly, but I have been very, very happy with it so far, and it has definitely kept me intrigued. I have a hard time putting the book down. Like I don't usually like to read, like to listen to a series on Audible, but for this one, I'm reading the heart, reading the 
actual physical books and then when I'm up and working and doing the things that I need to get done then I will listen to it on audible that way I can just keep the story going
I'm really, really ready to get my house decorated for fall. So I wanted to go ahead and take this Monday to get the bed stripped like I normally do on Mondays and get the sheets washed and changed out. But I also wanted to change over to our wedding ring quilt that a family member made for us when we got married. I love this quilt because I love the colors that are in it. It is so beautiful and it is perfect for fall. I need to get a few cute little throw pillows to go with it onto the bed. But for now, this is cute, cute and festive enough for the fall season. And so maybe I'll find some pumpkin pillows or some leaf, leaf pillows or something to go with it next time I go to Walmart or Hobby Lobby. But for now, it's cute, and I absolutely love this quilt. So, yeah, just kind of rambling on, I guess. <laughs>
So I wanted to share just a little story with y'all. As most of you know who have watched my studio vlogs, my daughter left for college three weeks ago. Melody is notorious for leaving socks everywhere. And you would think after her being gone for three weeks that I wouldn't find any more of her socks anywhere, that I wouldn't find any more of her clothing, her jewelry, anything lying around the house because, well, I've cleaned the house every week since she's been gone. Yeah, during this day while vacuuming behind furniture and just cleaning out odds and ends of things, I found three of her socks. So this is me here standing here texting her, telling her that this is the third sock of hers that I have found. And her response is just to laugh and laugh and laugh. She thinks it's hilarious. Sometimes I think she purposely places the socks. We, we tell her all the time that if she's ever wanted for murder charges or anything, if she ever becomes a serial killer, that her calling card is going to be socks left everywhere. Are your teenagers the same way? I know we don't have that issue with our son. But our daughter leaves socks everywhere. It drives me crazy.
All right, outfolded friends, we are nearing the end of this studio, well, not studio vlog. I'm so used to saying studio vlog now. I guess it's just a kind of day in the life. I hope you enjoyed the glimpse of what I do when I have a day out of the studio, what I do when I take time off. This is my usual Monday routine, so if you want to join me for more of these, I plan to post more in the future whenever I need a little bit of a break of just studio content, so I hope you enjoyed them. If you do, give it a thumbs up. I hope that you'll subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, join me for a studio vlog on Thursday. I'll see you then. Bye!